Ladies and gentlemen, do you feel sometimes that you are behind in life? Behind not in terms of money or, you know, marriage or children or promotions, not in that sense. But do you think you are not able to utilize yourself 100%, your body, mind and your spirit? If so, then if you do these 10 things, or at least even if you do 5 of this, just 50%, I can guarantee you, you will radically change your life. You will go to 10x, 100x, 1000x. All right. So if you feel you are not at your best, then please do at least five of these 10 things. The more you can do, the better. All right. So what is the first thing? The first is the most important. If you do this, then everything else will fall in place. And if you don't do this, everything else has no meaning. All right. The most important thing, and this is both for men and women. For men especially, try to preserve your virya, your semen. Don't waste it. <laughs> See, um, as time, society is progressing, you know, adult material, pornography, sexuality, nudity, adultery, these things are becoming more and more rampant, you know, masturbation and all other sorts of, you know, sexual experiences, you know, prostitution, uh, hookup culture, everything is becoming more and more acceptable, right? This is very unfortunate, and but this is not surprising because this is how Kali Yuga will proceed. Or Okay, so therefore, if you want to be distinguished from others, you have to preserve your semen for men especially because semen has life inside, not life for somebody else, but your own life is also there in that. All right, so if you cannot or if you do not preserve your semen, you will not be able to go to the next level. You you will always see, you know, the day you lose your semen, you know, the next four, five, seven, eight, ten days, you will feel very down, you'll feel very lethargic, you will feel very low, you'll feel very depressed, okay? So therefore, try your best to preserve your semen and try not to waste it. Pre semen should only be used for procreation of children, ideally. Now that's ideal standard. You may not be able to follow it, but try to reduce your wastage of semen. Just try this for one month and then you see you will be in a superman mode, all right? And especially for women, you should be very careful of not seeking attention from other men online or offline. <laughs> all right, so therefore, if a woman is addicted to you know attention from other men, then that is as good as a man losing his semen, all right? So therefore, that will lead to your destruction and you will end up in a place which you may not like and which may be irreversible, okay? So therefore, try not to do this, all right? Both men and women, as I said, this is most important. Everything else will be of no use if you cannot do this. And if you do this, then that's it. The others will fall in place, all right? Number two, try to get up in the Brahma Mugurat. You don't have to do it tomorrow morning. Take some time, you know, two months, three months, six months, you know, at least two, three months, you should be able to do it if you practice. So, for example, Brahma Murat is around one and a half hours before the sunrise. So, you can check it, you know, when the Brahma Murat is there. But in general, you know, if you can get up at uh, 4.30 and, you know, you can start your day from there, you will see there's a miraculous change in your life. You will be exponentially better. Just try this. Just try this for one week and you will see great results, okay? But as I said, you cannot do it from tomorrow morning because you will need some time. So take some time, one month, two months, three months. You know, three months is a reasonable good period to uh, get to that stage. If you can get to that stage, well, you you, you are in that 0 0.0001% club, okay? Most of the people that I know that are very successful, especially in their uh, spiritual Life are getting up in the Brahma Murat and they are doing a lot of things which normal people don't do and that is what will distinguish you from others, all right? Number three, chanting mantras in the morning, especially in the Brahma Murat or even in the morning. So, the word mantra means manatrai, that which delivers the mind. So, if you can chant mantras every day morning, it will give you immense self-control and mind control and willpower to not do wrong things throughout the day. So therefore, if you feel that your mind is, you know, wavering, wandering in 10 directions for no good reason, then you need to understand that you should start chanting mantras. And for beginners, I would always say, if you are clueless what to do, you can chant, you know, 
ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय यू कैन चैंट ओम नमो नारायणाय यू कैन चैंट हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे दीज थ्री पावरफुल विष्णु मंत्रास यू कैन चैंट टेक अ माला एंड चैंट ऑल आई डोंट चैंट इन योर हैंड्स डोंट काउंट लाइक दिस हंड्रेड एट टाइम्स नॉट रिकमेंडेड टेक अ माला टेक अ बीट एंड डू इट ओके वन नॉट एट टाइम्स ईच मंत्रा सो फर्स्ट यू चैंड वन मंत्रा हंड्रेड एंड एट टाइम्स then the next mantra then the next mantra all right and this will not take you more than 20 minutes if you chant these three mantras maybe 20 25 minutes at max half an hour if you invest this time the returns are exponential even for your material life what to speak of your spiritual life your spiritual life will begin and it will blossom all right so please chant these three mantras i always tell people in the morning and you will see your life transform radically in front of your eyes and your ears <laughs> number 4 this is very important this is all the part of the morning routine so i assume you got up in the brahma murat and you uh, chanted mantras but there's something in between you need to do getting up and chanting mantras it's taking cold water bath okay so now this is now done by many entrepreneurs also and you know this ice bath cold water bath and all this you know so the uh, culture recommends us to take a cold water bath every day morning but again this is not medical advice uh, do this only after consultation with your doctor unless you have some you know medical problems i am not endorsing you know cold water bath but if you are normal and you don't have problems you can try this out okay try this for 7 days uh, you don't have to take bath in you know ice cold chill like you know minus <laughs> minus 2 degree water but in general don't use the heater so if you do this then your life will radically change you know you will feel so positive and so vibrant in the morning so brahma mura then cold water bath then the mantras if you do this your life will i think 10x is a un, it's like underestimation it can be 20 100x also number 5 so after getting up in the brahma mura taking bath chanting mantras then the next thing that you do is read the holy scriptures so try to read the bhagavad gita or shrimad bhagavatam or any uh, scriptural uh, tradition that uh, you are inspired by okay so that will work because these uh, divine scriptures contain the vibration of god you know the shrutis the smritis you know especially the bhagavad gita shrimad bhagavatam ramayan especially these three books okay and the mahabharata also of course so if you read this uh, these four books um or if if you are interested you can also read the vedas the upanishads the puranas but especially the bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam these two books you know these uh, because bhagavad gita is like the summary of all the upanishads okay and shrimad bhagavatam is the crest jewel of all the vedic literatures it is the one which was written by maharishi vyas when he was in the fructification of his uh, spiritual realizations okay so therefore if you read these two books every day uh, even for 5 minutes if you read every day morning you know 5 minutes bhagavad gita 5 minutes bhagavatam your life will change you will become a man of excellence you will become a man of character you will become a man of integrity of truthfulness and you will be an inspiration to anyone and everyone around you okay so therefore please do this and you will see your intelligence will be very sharp you will know exactly when to do what to do you will you will be able to make right decisions like this otherwise you know you'll be like oh yeah you know oh yeah yeah i am dating this person for 6 months you know oh, oh sorry 3 uh, years actually i still don't know should i marry this person or not so otherwise your situation will be like this okay how in the universe you are staying with a person for 3 years and you don't know if you want to marry them or not all right so this is the situation of people in kali yuga they are having hook up culture this that you know extramarital affair premarital sex all these things but they are headless basically completely headless because they don't have knowledge of the scriptures so therefore please read and empower yourself and your mind and intellect all right very 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 important for intellectual strength and mental clarity now i assume you have done all this the number 6 is to cut off showbiz and politics from your life so you will see most of the people in this world are addicted to alcohol sex life then you know showbiz you know and then politics okay 
Now, it's not wrong to be aware of politics because politicians are leaders and they decide to some extent or to a large extent the trajectory of our life. Not not to like 100%, but yeah, they have some role, right? So, nothing wrong in making yourself aware of, you know, what kind of a politician is this person or that person or your local politician or your uh, prime ministerial candidate, your presidential candidate. Nothing wrong with it, okay? It's a part of evolution and it's a part of uh, human psyche but what i mean to say is when you are watching politics videos 24 <clears> 7 <throat> no like uh in uh if, if you are from the u.s you are going on grazing you know cnn which is pro-democrat and you know you, or you are going on grazing a uh, fox news which is always pro-republican okay so if you are going on grazing either of these two or maybe both of them and then what is happening is your brain is becoming compartmentalized okay so if you are watching CNN all the time, you will think all the things which the Democrats do, they are good. And Republicans are the terrible worst creatures, okay? And if you keep watching Fox, you will feel the same for uh, the Democrats, okay? They are crooked, like, you know, and they should be discarded from the government. So therefore, and the same is with India, you know, either you are watching, you know, pro-Modi, pro-BJP or anti-Modi, anti-BJP, all these things. And then you will start fighting with each other like cats and dogs. So... You can watch these, but it should be very limited, you know, not more than 5 to 10 to 15 minutes a day, you know, not more than that. But I know people who are, you know, grazing on politics and, you know, showbiz for like 3 hours, 4 hours a day and they are, you know, gossiping oh, which cricketer got married to which film star and you know, all these things they are discussing. And then what is happening is that poison will flow back to your life, okay? And then you are wondering why is my life not like theirs? <laughs> because they are not doing what you are doing. They are doing something else and you are just gossiping about them. So try and avoid all this showbiz and politics. And even if you do it, keep it to a very, very, very reasonable extent. Otherwise, it will destroy you. Number seven, you should try to fast for one day every week. So at least one day. Now, fasting you can do at various levels. Now, for example, you can try to fast from breakfast in one day once a week. Or if you can, you should skip the lunch also, lunch and breakfast. And if you can, even better, bre breakfast, lunch, dinner, you skip completely. Okay, so one full day you fast. So depending on your situation, you do. Uh, some people, they eat, you know, like um, one meal a day once a week. Okay, some people, they eat one meal a day, like, you know, on ekadashis. You know? So depending on your situation, but you should fast. Okay, and uh, try to do it in a way that does not harm your body and does not make you go crazy, all right? So if, if you are like fainting and you are like becoming unconscious, you are feeling no nauseous, then you don't have to, but yeah, try your try it gradually, okay? It won't happen in one day, but if you do this, you will feel miracles will happen in your life, okay? Number eight, increase your vegetable intake and reduce your carbohydrate intake. You will see, especially if you take too much rice or uh, roti or you know if you eat too many carbohydrates and you know, all this wheat bread and all this uh, potato then you will feel the uh, after taking you know you'll feel like sleeping you know you can't work you know and then uh, next day you have to get up and you know think you know what's going on what should I do <laughs> you know it, it happens with me I don't know if it happens with you but I have seen with so many people so uh, try to increase your vegetable intake and reduce your carbohydrates. If you take more vegetables, you will feel very light, you will feel very enthusiastic, and you will feel very energetic, all right? Number nine, please do this, my humble request. Please try to visit a spiritual community once a week, okay? At least once a week. It should be more ideally, but at least in the weekends, you know, Saturdays or Sundays, or on Friday evenings. Uh, try to visit any spiritual community that is near to you, and... By there, you should go uh, and take guidance from some guru who is present there or some senior leader, some personal guidance. If not, then, you know, large, uh, large, in the large spectrum of, you know, your life, you know, human life. Athato Brahma Jigyasa, as the Vedanta Sutra says, right, that human life should be for self and uh, self realization, self inquiry. Brahma Jigyasa, trying to uh, search the truth, okay, trying to find God. So therefore, if you go to a spiritual community, you will be blessed beyond beyond measures, okay? So please do this once a week at least, okay? If not, then please, once a month, not less than that. Otherwise, you perish. 
and last but not the least you should have somebody with whom to whom actually you maintain some accountability so for example you should have some you know guru or some counselor or some uh, senior to whom you can you know send you know monthly reports like you know uh, what time you got up what time you slept yeah these are things uh, or you know it could be some software also if you are not confident about a person you know where you keep tracking okay these are the things i ate this day these uh, the, my weight has increased my weight has gone down or you know my anxiety has increased my anxiety has gone down you know whatever some accountability some tracking has to be there if you do this fantastic that is okay otherwise your life will just go and you will feel it's let loose all right so therefore please do this and you will see that you are able to measure yourself because anything that is measured can be changed otherwise if you don't know what is going on if you don't measure things how will you know what to change all right so therefore these are 10 things which you do but always remember number 1 is the most important if you don't do this if you lose your semen or for women if you are addicted to getting attention from members of the opposite sex well then you are doomed <laughs> and i have no hesitation to say this people who have done this men and women their lives have gone downhill they may be doing good temporarily but very dangerous okay uh, please try to live with this and along with that also try to add all these all right so if even if you do five of these you will become a superman a superwoman all right superhuman so try your best and don't worry god is there with you he will help you and look to him and you will find him all right take care jai shri ram jai siya ram jai gobal